New South Wales police have admitted they made a mistake in letting two international travellers skip hotel quarantine yesterday and board a domestic flight to Melbourne. The pair from Germany was only caught by a vigilant car rental employee. It's meant to be a ring of steel. International arrivals loaded onto buses for two weeks in hotel quarantine. It seems to have been working fine until it didn't. This operation has been acknowledged as best practice. Is it fail safe? Obviously not. But we've uh, admitted the error. We're very sorry for the incident and we'll move forward on it. The pair, a 53-year-old woman and her 15-year-old son, flew from Germany through Tokyo to Sydney, arriving at 9.45am yesterday. It seems they're in a queue waiting to get on a bus to go to hotel quarantine. Next minute, they're not in that queue. Police say they were told they had an exemption to fly to Melbourne and they allowed them to go. Trouble is, they didn't have an exemption. Sunil Gosai was on the same flight and behind them in the bus queue. They mentioned to the officers and the military staff that they're going to Melbourne and they said, oh, you're in the wrong place. In fact, they even got an escort. They said, look, you'll need to go back and then it, it changed from that to, well, I'll take you. We've seen firsthand through the Ruby Princess debacle just how very, very quickly a small mistake in quarantine can quickly turn into a nightmare for the community. The German nationals had pre-booked the Virgin flight overseas and already had boarding passes, meaning they could simply self-check in. They were only caught out by a quick-thinking car rental employee at Melbourne Airport who sensed something wasn't right. For Daniel Andrews, good luck is not good enough. We're very keen, though, to have a system that's not reliant on that. Uh, I think Victorians know only too well that you've got to have the most robust system. 170 passengers and six crew were on Virgin Flight VA 838, which left Sydney at midday yesterday and arrived in Melbourne at 1.25pm. The travellers have had an initial negative COVID test, but all on board the flight and five staff who spoke to the travellers at Melbourne Airport, including the car rental employee, will have to self-isolate until a second test tomorrow on the two also proves negative. Caught in the middle of all of this, Virgin Australia also now wants answers. It says it had strict health protocols in place on the flight, but even so was forced to remove the plane from service for a deep clean as a precaution. Something's gone wrong in New South Wales. Let's get to the bottom of that and then hopefully there, that won't happen again. Police say their systems at the airport have now been reviewed and strengthened. And Pete, there is still one thing up in the air as a result of all of this, and that's our ability to fly interstate, with the WA Premier indicating today that this breach will be taken into account when he announces tomorrow whether or not we can fly to Western Australia again. All right, Eddie, thank you.